some uh, place in your stomach for the evening tour of Vada Pao and Misal Pao. Let's see how it works out. Let's see. I'm going to have to go for a jog. <laughs> <laughs> So now we will go visit your your home. Yes. That's right. Uh, typical traditional Indian household. Yes, you can say that. Very nice. Thank you so much for inviting me over. Welcome, welcome. welcome. We're now watching an Indian cereal in Marathi and Indian Mumsy's got me caught up the past six months of the show in about 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All good. <laughs> One of my cover items, uh, sorry, original items, one of my original composition. Mango, 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 mango. Yeah, this is the first mango of the season, and I'm preparing the fruit sasa. So, this is a very tangy, sweet, sour recipe, a very typical recipe of the Saraswat community. I love mango. This is not the Alfonso, this is some local variety but because sure. I could not get Alfonso, I am using the local variety. But can you use the Alfonso also? Yeah, yeah, of course. You had me at mango. I hope it is sweet. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. So I'm also adding orange to it. Mm. We add a bit of mustard seeds, raw, and red chili. I use the bergi mirchi which is a chili from the Karnataka side which gives a nice red color and uh, it is very good on, it is not harsh on your stomach, you know, okay. not like the other uh, chilies and we add a little jaggery to it. So we grind all these ingredients and this is used as a side dish. It's very popular amongst uh, Saraswat weddings, especially when the weddings are during the summers from March to say maybe May so when the mango comes in the mangoes are available well and good otherwise you can have it with fruits like pineapple grapes and orange so today I'm making the fruit sasa I'm looking forward to trying it yes and this was a request for my dinner because of the tale lunch was so huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keeping, keeping the dinner very small. <laughs> and simple. Yes, and simple. Yeah. And homemade, which yeah. is also very important. Yeah. Yet unique. Yes. Yes, I have never seen this dish before in India. Yeah, as I said earlier, it is very specific to our community.
for the fruit sasam this is the masala coconut a pinch of uh, mustard seeds and as i said the bergi mirchi yes so this will give color good color and this mixture has to be ground coarsely you know it should not be like a paste okay. it'll be dry so now i'll start I wish your granddaughter was here to run the mixer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she covers her ears. Hello, Tepai Jai, na go, Robert. No, 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 it's not that loud. She always thinks that it's going to be very loud. Very noisy. Yeah, because I make her smoothies a lot. Every time she comes to our house, I will make her smoothies, fruit, fruit smoothies, and she loves them. But she does not like the noise. <laughs> she has very sensitive ears. That's like my youngest daughter also. My youngest daughter has very sensitive ears. Watch it. The yeah, can you just... The, the, the yeah, bhai reto na, the laat pato. The 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 bhai reto na, the laat pato. See in India we believe that we should not take salt in our hand, you know. Otherwise mm. we will start quarreling. So normally yeah. A spoon. Yeah. Yes. Superstition. Person to person. Yeah. You can just leave it. I I should not give it in, in our hand. Of course, it is superstition, mm. but yes. Is that because you believe you'll give bad spirits? I really don't know what is the logic behind it, but that is what we have grown up listening to our elders, you know. Mm. You there know, are so like many superstitions. The, the Japanese, the mm -hmm. sumo, mm -hmm. they throw the salt yeah. to, to ward off the evil. Okay, maybe. I don't, I don't maybe. know. They say you can, should not give it. Yes, perfect. It should be coarse, you know. You can see the coconut. It should not be thoroughly ground. Okay. It's so not now I can. Yeah. So now I'll remove it. So just a couple of zaps. Yeah. Now this is to be eaten cold. Okay. Yeah. So it's just mix yeah, well. Yeah, mix and, and then it's ready to eat. Mix well. Mix well, yeah. <laughs> like grandpa says, mix well. Now or later? What do you think? You want to put it to the test? Yes. The two papas will put it to the test. Yes. <laughs> Try to get a bite of everything in it. Get some of the mango, some of the orange, some of the grape. Cheers. That's nice. How is it? Very nice. Something different. Yes. Yeah. The flavors are just dancing in my mouth. Between the, the sweetness of the mango and the grapes, the little bit of acidity from the orange, and then of course the, the chutney. Good. Papa approved. One Papa down, one to go. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> now she's making the vegetable, the potatoes, potatoes. which is the typical Maharashtrian uh, kachrachi bhaji, which is very easy to make. So now you can have a look. And quick sure. fix bhaji. Yeah. Quick fix bhaji. Yeah. It is like a stir fry, potato stir fry. Okay. Very fast to make. Turmeric. Yeah, some chili powder. Some 
Jimmy. Merch. This is made on the steam itself, no water, so it turns out to be very crispy. Yeah. For you? <laughs> small, small, small. Yes, that's plenty. This is the rasam. Rasam. You want a spoon? No, it's fine. I'll just use the pan. And then the sasam. Just a little bit. A little bit of that since I've already had. Perfect. That's a nice one. Some more of this? Oh, more mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. That's good like that. Okay, and. Uh, Would you like to try this? Of course, this what? is supposed to be, these are known as butter beans. Kidney beans spicy. or whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, little spicy. Yeah, Should I give much. it in a different... Uh, no, no, just a, just a little bit. You just put it right on the side there between the potato and the, the rice. Yeah, I'll put it yeah, in. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Maya, her name is Maya. Maya, thank you, Maya. Well, that's a great looking home cooked meal. And they're very fast, too. Both, both are very quick. Looks delicious. How is it, Indian Papa? Yeah, fine. Having fruits, uh, saw some after a long time, really. Ah. Mm -hmm. So a nice treat. Thanks to your visit. <laughs> that Indian mumsy remembered this dish. <laughs> And it was the right time, you know, the mangoes. The mangoes just came into season. Yeah. Mm. Amo, come. Mm, quite nice. So we had a nice Maharashtrian lunch, authentic lunch. And now a nice home cooked dinner. And a Maharashtrian cereal to what? <laughs> and a cereal. <laughs> How is it, India Mamsis? Yeah, good. good enjoying good. enjoying my sasam after a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'll get the hand movements now. No, you you will teach me. Yeah, by yeah. Hand. Yes. Very easy. Just mix it and make a morsel and you eat it. Yummy. Yummy. You are very quick with your hands. Yeah. That's again a grandpa expression, no? Yummy. Yeah. Yes. Wow, super. Super, yeah. Mix well. <laughs> I love watching him. Yeah. So enjoyable. 
He was always very happy. Feeding the kids, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very noble gesture on his part. Very. Yeah. We are eating in silence, that means the food is yummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, the telenovela is back on too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what telenovela is? No. They're the Mexican cereals. Oh. Mm. In America, we call them soap operas. Yes. Yeah. Here also. See, I'm not nearly as quick as you. You'll get used to <laughs> next couple of days. You want some more rasam? And then you take some of the potato. Yeah. And you compact it down. Mm -hmm. Yummy? Mm hmm. I snuck a grape in there too. Yeah. <laughs> So I had that nice crunch of the grape with it. Okay. Yeah, that was very nice. I like your fruit salad chutney. Yes. Delicious. How about the potatoes? Yes, those are also very nice. Everything is. Now I will try the butter beans. Yeah. This things. piece was the mango. Yeah. <laughs> mm. How are the butter beans? The butter beans nice and creamy. Yeah. yeah. Can you taste the coconut oil? Mm. Not no? specifically. Yeah, not specifically. Because the seasoning or the tempering with Garlic was in coconut oil. Mm. There's just a lot of flavor going yeah, on yeah. with it, and I'm not really hitting the coconut oil. A little bit of the mustard, yeah, but but not hitting the coconut oil. Delicious dinner. Thank you so much. Welcome. <coughs> it's a pleasure to have you. Mm. The pleasure has been all mine. Thank you so much. Thank Do you so much, my doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> or Come. from your doppelganger, <laughs> whichever way. Do you find it a little difficult in eating with your hands? No. That is I'm, the Indian way. I'm just a little slower. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Enjoy. Now we can all three eat. Yeah. Yeah, I will improve eating with my hands. It's just a little slow, a yeah. little messy. Yeah. But you get used to it. Because what I do is I always compare hands. Look at my hand versus, huh? Yeah. <laughs> not too bad. It just feels like it's yeah. a lot. But yeah, I take it and yeah. try to find a little yeah. pile. In the South Indian way, we eat on a banana leaf and with your hand. That's why it's very tough because the liquid starts running away from the leaf. So you really have to have some quickness. I think Amog is trying to no, put, put it on me no, no. today. Amog, where are you? He must be busy working. He's working from home for his Canadian company. So it's just now morning time in Canada.
That reminds me. In New York, our daughter has been told in her company. For the next two weeks, everybody works from home. Anyone for papas? So no commuting, no traveling. Papa? Mm. No, I think I think. Papa. Papa. Everybody stay and work from home so that they don't come in contact. contact. That would definitely be a benefit for the American yeah, and my, Canadian my companies my. outsourcing and offshoring here. Yeah. They don't really have that concern since it's not really reached here. <coughs> Just a few cases from Italy, right? Mm. Your mother got me all caught up on the cereal. <laughs> so now I know what's going on. How was the money I spent here for 30 seconds? Yeah, whatever transpired in the last six months. Dun, dun, dun. Basically, all these soap operas are yeah, the same. same yeah. And Around the world. Mindor for Mindor. one scene, they will just uh, take like 30 minutes. All the same around the world. Yeah. Even the stand-up comedy and like all the shows, they are quite similar. Like you have some helping of something? Oh, no, no. I'm just going to put okay. this back in the sink. Yeah, it's okay. Maya, start again now. I'm pretty good. Yeah, no. Nice looking plate. So you're like Mumsy's then, you're the bread eater. <laughs> <laughs> Mumsy's loves her bread too. Yeah. <laughs> the sweets and the breads, mm -hmm. she can exist off of that. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, delicious home cooked food. Yes. What a very special treat for me to have a home cooked meal. In India. Yes. <laughs> yes. About as authentic as it gets. Mm -hmm. Not about. It is as authentic as it gets. Made by the Indian mumsies. <laughs> Well, our evening has come to an end. I would like to thank not only Amog, but Ram and Smriti. Did I get that yes, right? Yes, sort of. 100%. <laughs> also known as Indian Mumsies and Indian Papa. <laughs> <laughs> My doppelganger. <laughs> it's been a true pleasure to, to meet you and for you to show me and explain everything today. I've had such a great time. And the pleasure is ours. In fact, yeah. we love having welcome. you over. Anytime with Mumsies. Yeah, next time with yeah. Mumsies. We'll, we'll. Absolutely. Absolutely. She would, she would love you. Yes. Yeah. You're most definitely invited along with Mumsies next time. Thank definitely. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good Bye -bye. night. Thank Bye. you for watching, everyone. Bye. <laughs>
बल्लबादी शिकी